Hey guys, uh, how are you? My name is Siddharth and you are watching Thought Market Leaders. So today I have an interesting uh, conversations to make. Uh, this is all about uh, artificial intelligence or in the other words, uh, technology. Uh, how this technology is going to change uh, or impact our climate. Uh, I'll give you a few examples. Uh, I mean, in our day-to-day -day activities, uh, we are using mobile phones. And we are doing a lot of things, you know, in one go. We are sh shopping, we are booking cabs, we are ordering foods, and we are playing games, and we are using so many apps in one go. And what is happening is, uh, if tomorrow or day after tomorrow you are doing something else, so the app or the program is recommending you certain things, right, new things. You bought a shirt yesterday, now today, if I am surfing the shopping site, then it, it will give you a matching pan. Uh, okay, this you bought this shirt yesterday. Now this is a matching. These are the matching pants which you can buy. Mm. If yesterday I I I, uh, I bought a pizza uh, through some uh, pizza uh, through one of the pizza companies and uh, from Domino's for example, and uh, if day day after tomorrow you are buying something else from the same company, so they will show you that okay you bought a pizza uh, day before yesterday. Now you have a kind of similar pizzas or any, any other foods uh, being recommended to you. So how, uh, what do you think, how these apps are knowing your behavior, what are you doing on the apps? Because the machine uh, learning programs or softwares that are being done, being coded uh, behind the app is actually finding your behavior and how your, your surfing style, uh, the more you go to the app and do certain things, they. Uh, track your behavior and then they recommend you certain things which are very very similar or synonymous to your earlier uh, activities your past behavior so on the basis of your historical or past behavior they are recommending something else to you in the future that's exactly what a AI or a machine learning program does based on our activities in the past or in the historical I'm talking about the historical data historical um, activities that you do they will recommend you a few activities or a few things for uh, you know in your future when you go back and uh, activate activate those apps they will give you more options and varieties and a lot of other recommendations which you can do and that's the magic of uh, this kind such kind of programs and obviously if it is happening in our day-to-day -day lives this can happen with climate also and now climate researchers and scientists have suddenly become so active and trying to um, uh, trying to explore technologies which can sa which can save climate you know because environment is very crucial for us in the past years in the historical uh, if you look at the historical uh, uh, side of uh, humans uh, what happens is we never care about uh, uh, environment or you know so-called climate because uh, the very basic thing of like you know an activity of a human being is to take care of your uh, your tree or a plant or like you know uh, give water to the grass or very common and basic things you know you should not just throw out your mobile mobile here and there or food here and there you know so that it like it, it gets destroyed uh, you should do humanly things because right now people have become inhuman and the whole world has become so inhuman that we are actually taking help from technology because humans have not been able to solve such kind of problems and that's the reality I feel. I mean, that's my opinion. That's my perception. You may have something else to say, but I think that uh, humans have not been able to solve so many things. That's how technology have come forward. And uh, I can say uh, technology have become, uh, are enabling uh, human beings to do better. I mean, if we are doing 30% of uh, the productivity or our work, when technology is coming, it will, uh, the technology and human being both, uh, you know, coming together and doing 70 to 80% more uh, of the tasks in a better more pro productive ways and um, obviously you talk about air pollution you talk about saving environment you talk about reducing carbon dioxide emissions or uh, 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 reducing the greenhouse emissions it is very very important to use technology or AI in certain ways in a best way as as possible because what is happening is it, it's a game of data right when you when you actually uh, you know, uh, use sensors or uh, IoT devices to write programs uh, on the computers and then you analyze the historical or past data and then you tag this data f for variety, uh, for different, different, uh, you know, kind of activities. 
you see a certain five different kind of data is behaving in a certain way maybe you have uh, 50 another uh, data is behaving in a certain way and now you have patterns and then you can actually ex uh, uh, actually expect certain uh, project certain kind of outcomes in the future so you can actually find out okay this is the past behavioral uh, past activities and now how the future activity is going to be based on the historical data so this applies everywhere i mean it's, it applies in the climate also i mean for the climate uh, environment also when ha what happens is when you look at a factory of like say a manufacturing unit or you, you go to a power plant Mm, you see there are so many things I mean in a manufacturing unit you see so many things one one side you see the manufacturing uh, the mechanical workshop electrical workshops there are offices there are power plants there are so many things right how do you collect uh, real-time data because using technology you can do it so uh, when you do it humans are doing it right who is writing programs because humans are writing programs you should not be biased for a certain kind of outcomes you write programs intentionally or unconsciously uh, that will actually hamper the outcomes that should not be the case we should we should be uh, ready to evaluate this kind of programs and audit it and see uh, in a frequent like you know kind of a quarterly manner or a, you, know, you know more frequently that what are, what are we writing is it is it something that is really valuable for the private bodies or government bodies as an outcomes what is happening you know we should be able to re-evaluate ourselves while writing programs so that we make this AI programs or systems uh, very impactful and uh, efficient so that it gives you uh, right outcomes. So I'll give you one more example is that uh, we see that you know, air conditions like emitting like this chlorofluoro chlorofluorocarbon CFCs and there are so many uh, different kind of air condition that come air conditioned uh, systems have uh, have been uh, arrived uh, so what what is happening is in past few years like in the last 20 to 30 years we have been using different kind of technologies uh, in uh, air conditions now this is a different technology and there are companies who are bringing different different technologies in the systems so now the programmers who are writing programs and developing sensors to predict uh, to gather data they have to be smart enough to understand these updations in, uh, in the new technologies in the new upcoming models or upgrades you know so this is very very important for the human beings or human coders to observe and understand that what is happening what is happening with us what is happening in the in the all around the globe then we can actually write good programs and predict something really great so we can do miraculous things so it is it is not only technologies but also uh, human plus AI who is going to do miraculous things because without human AI cannot do anything you know you cannot it cannot do anything it's it's just helpless because AI and human have to come together and do something miraculous and save the environment I can say that uh, you know uh, humans have to be very very uh, uh, intelligent in terms of solving the basic problems you know basic problems in the societies as, as I mentioned how to manage your waste how to manage your food how to manage your electronic devices your laptops how do you use sustainable materials and there are so many things you have to be humanly human to uh, you know engage yourself with some basic activities in your life and take the help of AI or any uh, emerging tech and solve the problem that's how it is going to be and we can not only environment we can do so many great things some miraculous things uh, with a focus uh, on environment and climate change I would like to uh, know from all of you that uh, if you have any examples that you have seen somewhere that how do you people solve uh, environmental problems and what do you think that the, there are basic activities humans can solve or what technology can solve or what we can solve together you can actually advise or you can uh, comment in the comment section and let's share this video and understand um, how we can actually do miraculous things uh, to save the environment and there are different techniques and strategies uh, and we can talk more about maybe in the next episode or something someone later uh, if you have any special idea please let me know I would like to know about it and we will share this in our communities to understand more about climate change or uh, something very very deep into the climate I mean today I spoke about little bit uh, just overview of what is happening around and how we can do probably in the next episode we will talk about something uh, something deep and something technical uh, to understand um, how we can save our climate using certain technologies or maybe in certain areas specific areas till then goodbye and take care and be safe 
uh, we will uh, yeah don't forget to uh, subscribe and share this uh, particular video and uh, keep commenting and make me happy uh, see you in the next video take care goodbye